Hey guys, Bobby Kendall here from the Whitetail Group. We are a recreational development company offering farms for the elite whitetail hunting experience. Today we're going to give you a tour of this 135 acre farm in Cass County, Illinois, located just north of the town of Virginia. This track is part of a 638 acre farm we bought with the intention of building a hunting neighborhood of like-minded trophy deer managers. The 135 acres is an awesome hunting track from an aerial and a terrain perspective. As you can see, there's a ton of edges and coves which all roll down to ravines, creating lots of pinch points and travel corridors. And this gives the hunter great concealment for ingress and egress while checking cams and hunting. Access on the farm is great. There's essentially three-sided access, those being Ruppel Lane to the west, which is very low traffic, the south, which has a low pull-off concealing your truck, and then finally the east has an 18 foot wide piece of real property which goes with this track and it leads from the road to the corner where the farm opens up. We did a major excavation project on the farm which allowed us to put in a nice wide trail down the whole east line of the property. During the excavation process we reclaimed this large area of the farm from overgrown brush and put it back into tillable production at $200 cash rent for three years. Here at the Whitetail Group, we have created a lease over the years that is geared towards the needs and goals of trophy deer management with clauses for things like having the right to buy back standing crops and the right to maintain edges along with several other strategic items. One of the first things I was drawn to on this farm when seeing it the first time was the naturally occurring feathered edge in this section of the farm. Edge feathering is a common habitat management practice used in the whitetail world where you create brushy growth along the edge of the field, creating security for the deer bedded in the woods as well as a barrier for you to slip around the farm undetected. It's also a good browse source for the deer. We made sure to leave this naturally occurring feathered edge in place during the excavation process. This woodlot located on the west side of the property holds lots of deer due to the rolling structure and the south facing slopes. We opted to leave this several acre overgrown thicket during the project to help add to the holding power of the woodlot. We pushed in a trail system around the edge to have access to get deer out as well as funnel deer down the natural transition of two habitat types right to this strategically placed food plot. This food plot was put here based off of this huntable sycamore for west and northerly winds with a great ingress egress trail leading to the field edge for accessing the stand. The brush that was cleared out from this area was placed in a wall shape creating a pinch point as deer filter from this staging plot out to the crop fields. Just across the crop fields from this spot is a point of woods which create the major up and over travel corridor in all of the surrounding areas. A plot was also pushed in here and strategic brush piles were placed here and here to help with the funneling of deer. When cruising bucks use the up and over, these plots up your odds of them being in bow range because they are the path of least resistance, they're funnel shaped with brush walls, and being that their area is dose frequent, bucks will likely cruise through them looking and scent checking. Both of these plots are killer spots. The holding power of these woods is awesome. Lots of structure and south facing slopes and points make this field just load up with deer. This back edge is the dominant travel corridor, an area we honed in on developing for several reasons. All of this structure here holds lots of deer and as you can see there is a draw that comes out to the field edge right here as well as right here. We pushed in a plot between the two and left a hedgerow with a wall of brush in here creating a bow range gap between the north end of the hedgerow and a brand new shadow hunter blind. Brush was also placed from the blind back to the head of this draw forcing the deer through the gap into this standing crop food source we will be leaving. This back edge is also a natural travel corridor for deer traveling north and south between the woodlots in search of does and working licking branches 
taking the path of least resistance, cutting these guts, and staying close to the cover. In the northeast corner of the field is another killer bow hunting funnel. You have an inside corner funnel, as well as this flap, which deer use to transition to the food from the bedding ridges back in here through this squeeze right past the stand. You also have a really steep ravine right behind the tree that goes down into this bottom. We push some brush from the head of that draw to the huntable tree in order to keep deer traffic between the stand and the field. There are major scrape branches in bow range on the field edge and late season will be awesome hunting standing food out of this location if a buck's pattern warrants it. In the southeast corner of the field is a similar situation. You have a steep washout coming from the bottom of the draw all the way up to the corner of the field. We pushed in a trail from this bedding point out to the corner of the field to make a higher probability of cruising bucks being in bow range. Bucks will undoubtedly pound through this corner during the rut cruising and chasing. There's also great access to the stand for morning hunts by parking here in the low spot, shooting through the wood lot without busting deer in all the big crop fields. There is a super deery looking cove with a killer huntable tree begging for a stand should a buck's pattern call for it and a great spot for standing food as well. We have a millennium ladder in place on this point, which is a great bow hunting funnel hunting this gap as well as an incredible vantage point for gun season with great ingress and egress without bumping deer. Well, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the tour and our version of turning this farm into the elite whitetail hunting experience. To book a showing on this farm, contact Land Guy's agent, Toby Stay.